Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today, I want us to go through my first experience in making a uh, meat pie for myself. And the reason is because I like um, Nigerian meat pie, especially for lunch, because there's no time to cook. And I don't really like going to a restaurant or any of these things. So I used to buy the um, already refrigerated uh, meat pie made in Jamaica uh, and then uh, from supermarket. Um, this is the this is the packet of the of the um, spicy beef um, patties they call it. It's a Caribbean it's a Caribbean type. But the Nigerians too, they have better ones that they uh, we, we make we, we, we call our own meat pie so i said okay if, if uh, i will just I, I, and this thing costs most about 18 dollars for only 10. so i said all right the best thing i can do for me is just order for the tools to make meat pie for myself so i order for for the chinese uh, something this these are the rings for different different types of uh, of meat pie of meat pie and, and this is the molding block to make the to make the meat pie. That, that, that is the molding block, but I'm not going to use this one today because I just found out that this is too small. This is too small for me. I don't want to make small, small, small meat pie. So I've been able to get uh, the flour. I got the flour, which is that one. And, and then uh, I got uh, the mince. I have a lot of mince meat in the in the freezer which i've not been using i just threw them away so the idea just came i said why don't you just make use of your minced meat so i got the minced meat and already i've cut the pepper onion which i'm going to use which are this one the pepper onion with curry um and then um, i add a maggi sauce and then i have uh, uh, this butter or margarine from from this one i just took uh, two two bars which i cut into pieces which i'm going to use and then I have four eggs that uh, I'm going to mix three eggs with the flour and then uh, one egg I'm going to mix it to glaze it to, to glaze the 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 meat the mold when, when I've already finished mixing it and already I have um, the ingredients that I'm going to add to them so over here we have um, we have a nutmeg I, ha I have um, black pepper I have um, this um, a seasoning that I'm going to add. I have um, this thyme which I'm going to add. I have um, the garlic salt a little bit. I have um, baking baking uh, baking powder, and then I have curry. I've already added curry to the to the pepper. So 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 we're going to start now, uh, and then. Uh, uh we just see how it comes but i i, I have every enthusiasm uh, every um um expectation that i'm going to have a success so i bought also a uh, rolling rolling pin which I, i'm going to use and then i have a, this cutter too to cut the to cut the mold so so instead of using the the chinese um mold that i bought i, I thought well, the best thing is to use this one now because this one is wide enough for my for, for my lunch so so i'm going to just use this one and then use the knife to cut it through so let us just follow and see how far we can go thank you now we are ready so i got the uh, i mix um, I, I got uh, six six cups of uh, flour there so i'm gonna mix this is um sugar white sugar i'm using uh, this is a uh, baking powder and i'm going to add salt i'm going to you know, start uh, the job and then i will have a milk that i'm going to use you know for for mixing it so so i just want us to follow and let's see how we progress from here so i'm sure we're going to have um, a nice outcome today yeah so I'm now mixing the sugar to it. 
just this. Here I'm, I'm mixing the, the baking powder and then um, this, uh, I'm mixing um, garlic salt. everything together. With the egg there, I'm not going to add um, the butter that I've already cut into pieces. So these are the butter that I've cut into pieces. So I'm now going to use my hand to mold them so, 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 so that they, they can all come together. to make sure that all the flour are mixed with the egg and the and the butter before I now add the milk to soften it. So I'm not going to add milk to soften it and, and then um, so that, that, that's the milk. You can use either water or you can use milk. But in my own case, I decided to use to use milk. So That's 
good. Still, if it's too dry, so I'm going to add more milk until I can feel, until I can, I can feel it. Okay. Yeah, cool. ready to go to the to the molding molding board which I have already put in place so I'm going to transfer it to the molding block and then, then I will start to nail the, the, the flower mold yeah. <coughs> So that's the milk. Okay. So I'm going to add some flour to the the board. Okay. going to mold them now and in molding it we're not going to mold it as if we are baking a bread because uh, we don't want it to be too soft so I'm just going to mold it a bit and then allow it to allow it to, to ferment okay. So we have a good mold now, which I'm going to cover up and then I put it in the, in the fridge for a few minutes and then, uh, then we can start working on it. So I have uh, 
up here. That is the mold. And um, I'm going to use a uh, um, tin foil to cover it. So the next stage, we're going to start to go and cook the minced meat and the and the the carrots and get them ready for the for for the for the meat pie. So just follow me as we go along. Thank you. So I'm now going to prepare the in filling for the meat pie while, while the, the, dough, the dough is uh, still maturing there so I have um, the frying pan which I'm going to use and I'm going to put on the, 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 the gas then I'm going to add it, um, the oil just a little oil So I'm going to add uh, the pepper, the pepper, the onion, the curry, and the maggi sauce into the into the. Okay. to allow it to fry a bit and um, if you remember we have already half boiled the um, carrot and the onion so so so, so that um, they are okay so by the time we, we add them here then they'll be fully fully boiled As soon as uh, the oil is uh, you know, hot enough, then I'm going to start adding the, the minced meat, which is this one. So 
I'm not going to allow, I'm not going to cook it because if you remember, after after the meat pile is made, we still got to put it in the oven for for so many minutes to cook. So, so, so what you are just doing all this on for preservation because I'm not going to eat all the meat pie immediately. They are going to be stored in the freezer for many many uh, days. So maybe one month I'll be eating a uh, meat pie every 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 lunch period. As soon as the minced meat are half, half cooked, I will then add the, the carrot and the, and the onion. I'm cooking it, I'm finding out that like, I'm still getting some more liquid, maybe from the meat. The fats are coming out. So it's, it's either you add um, some flour to dry it up or you just drain it off. Whichever one is convenient for you. So I'm going to start adding um, the onion now. Too many there's too much liquid too much liquid too much water so i'm going to 
rid of uh, I don't finish using them today. I've just stored them away for another another meat pie exercise. Maybe 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 next month. going to do now I'm going to cover it and then I extract and uh, extract the water mm -hmm. I'm not going to to add um, I'm not going to add any flour to take away the water I'm just going to just to drain it off a bit I've been able to drain off the water now so I have a good mixture so just to thicken it a bit as again what I said let me add a bit of pure flour just to, just to thicken it Perfect mix. I love it.
Okay. So, this is what we have now. This is what we have now. A perfect mix. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I added a, a little bit of flour just to, to, to thicken it. So, it's just there now. I will not cover it. So, I, I leave the, the oven at, uh, you, you know, um, small flame to allow allow it to dry so it's just it's just they are beautiful so and this is the, the excess water that i uh, extract out so i'm going to pour this one into a, a, a jar and keep it for next for, for next uh, time i, I prepare um, meat pie now we are ready to see the mold and then we we'll see what uh, we are going to do now. So we have uh, this one. Let us see what has happened to it. It's even warm. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to cut it into eight pieces. Ready to mold. Mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. That's it. So we have eight pieces which I'm going to drag away to the arm. Mm -hmm. So I'll take one. That one is here. Go to get my rolling pin. That's my rolling pin and see what we have. using the rolling pin for the first time because <laughs> I'm not a chef but I'm very adventurous so this is what so this is what I've got and I'm not going to use this I'm not going to use that uh, so so I'm going to cut round That's one. Two. So I got this. So what I'm going to do now, it, it's um, I'm going to fill it up with um, the here we are. All right. So let me take a spoon. Let me use this spoon, see what I can get. So much. Yeah. 
I wish I can have it more than this. Mm. Ah, let me see now. It's too much. So I'm not going to use my fork to do the edges. This one is too full. So that's one. That's one meat pie. It's not properly closed. The feelings are too much. <laughs> anyway, I won't feel. I won't feel the next one. Uh, uh, all right. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is good, right? Uh, the Boston. Okay, so that's one. And then this one. Let me use this spoon now. Not, not the tablespoon for. I wish I can have more feeling there. Mm. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to. I'm still going to use this one to store them, and then I put it inside the freezer. So so that anytime I want to uh, eat meat pie, I can just uh, eat, you know go there. So in the meantime, uh, I'm just going to put them here. In, uh, So I can have enough room. So this one I'm going to eat today, tonight. So so so. And then let us make some. Get some more. Okay, let me get uh, this door now. All right. I'm sitting here with the with the with the rolling pin. I, I was thinking that I have to use my own hand to roll it. I didn't I realized that they've already made it like to roll on its own like that. So let me put this on there. So I'm not to be bending. Mm -hmm. practice makes perfect so I have a thinner a thinner flower now I mean a thinner dough now aha you see you see I didn't know before oh this is better now you see so I can cut as much as possible that's good One. 
That's true. That's good, isn't it? I didn't know before, but now I'm becoming. I'm improving now. Can't I? Wow, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I got four easily, didn't I? That's beautiful. That's good. I see your opinion. Ugh. That is the one thing. That's good. Wow, it is tiring now. My back is already paining me. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, wow. Let me, let me use this one first. Yeah. I know how to mold because when I was in England, I had to work in a bakery to 
um, supplement my my feeding allowance. So I was in charge of uh, the molding section, and then we, we had to, to, to mold bread every night, you know, and then bake them. So so I got the the technique of uh, molding bread or molding a uh, flour for for making a bread. So nothing. No, no experience is wasted at all. You know? mm. Because I was not a scholarship like the many uh, fortunate Nigerians, the, the children of the rich people. I had to pay my school fees with my father's so allowance that was sent to me. So. <sighs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's fine. Beautiful.
Okay. It's your pin. Okay. That's beautiful. So this is how far I'm going to start. I'm going to do the rest too. So this is what I've got so far. And um, I still have a lot of dough left, which is uh, already tiring for me. Yes, finally, I've been, I have completed the exercise. I was able to get uh, about 40 meat pie inside this uh, box so i'm gonna put this one inside the freezer now so that every afternoon when i feel like eating a meat pie i don't have to go to the mall to go and spend 20 dollars or 18 dollars to go and buy them the meat pie frozen meat pie i'm gonna frozen all this one and then this one and the remaining flour the dough that were left so i've glazed it with my glazing brush and uh, so I'm going to start. Uh, this is this is the that's the glazing that's the glazing brush which I use. So I'm going to put it inside the oven now, and then uh, then we'll see what uh, we are able to get. So this this for I'm just going to maybe eat one tonight, and then I just keep that to tomorrow. So I put the oven at uh, at uh, three two three hundred de degrees and um, so i'm just going to leave it there for about 15 or 20 minutes and then I, I, i'll look at it so i'm going to clean up now it's such a narrow kitchen so so the remaining um filling i have put them here so i put them here this is as i was still able to get a lot so I'm going to put it inside the freezer against the next time that I'm going to make a so so next time I'm not going to have any problem of boiling potato tomato everything has already been prepared the fillings are already there together with all the spices all I just have to do is just make the flour dough maybe about 10 10 10 meat pie this one will be okay for me so let us wait and see what comes out of the oven I'm looking forward to it I'm hungry now and finally, this is the baked uh, meat pie that uh, I've just come out of the oven and um, I feel so happy. Uh, I don't feel like eating it now. You see, it's so crispy. It's just beautiful. Wow. It's so beautiful. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, uh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to eat tonight anyway. So, I'm happy. I got 25 for more, more than 35, which is beautiful. So I tried to use this one, but it, it was just messy. So I just use my hand, you know, because it, it's not just too small, you know, it's too small. I mean, it, 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 it's like m m making a meat. Meet my for, for school children. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>